Welcome back, everybody, to a new installment of Harry Makes an App in September, React Native Edition. This episode is brought to you by me and the fine folks of TypeScript, because without TypeScript, this episode would not exist, because I am trying to add TypeScript to this React Native application. So to recap, I haven't done anything else to the application so far, still bare bones. It works, I'm happy, but now, just to challenge myself and to play with something new, I wanna actually add TypeScript support to the, my React Native application and actually build the entire application with TypeScript. Luckily for me, there's actually a fairly recent blog post from the folks at Artsy about how to use TypeScript with React Native, and I'm going to follow this blog post to see if I can replicate what they did. And it's a little bit trickier with me because I'm using Expo, so this might fail. But what is, the, what is, what is trying if you don't fail a couple of times? So uh, I'm using, uh, what am I using for this thing? Where's my thing? It's using Node. Uh, let's add the additional dependencies that I need. I need to say npm install save dev. I want to install TypeScript. I want to install the React Native TypeScript Transformer. So those are the only two things that I need. And while I'm at it, let's also add types. Well, I guess I'll do that later. But, uh, and I'll do that now. Because I like to install all the dev dependencies together because then I don't have to like type. And then I can just type things less. So uh, let's do that and have npm do its thing. Definitely using npm, right? Yeah, I'm using npm. That's fine. npm install is always the best part of making applications. <laughs> Uh, a little secret, I'm actually making this video at the same time as the first video, but I'm releasing them separately because then I can have you come back and see the second installment. An old timey entertainment biz trick. Yeah? Let's skip to the end. And we're done. Sweet. That didn't take any time at all. Now I want to actually init the uh, TypeScript compiler uh, configurations. I'm going to use the MPX, which lets me actually easily run command line programs through NPM, and I have to worry about if they're installed globally or locally. It just kind of takes care of all that for me. So I have a new, uh, so I have modified package JSON. That makes sense because I installed some new things. I also have the TS config, which I just made with that previous command. I'm going to do touch to actually make the uh, React Native CLI configuration file. Uh, let's actually open up my editor and it's telling me that I need to uncomment allow synthetics. So we actually want to allow synthetics. Uh, yes, sweet. Next, I want to copy and paste some more things to make this just magically work for me. Go here, paste that and save. Rename the generate app and app to app TSX and let's use the JS extensions. All the files should use the TS extension for that. Let's just try to rename this and see what happens. It's saying that I need to have a root not be that, but I don't really. Let's just try it. TSX. Oh, let's actually kill my watcher. It's already been killed. I don't have to worry about that. Uh, I don't really care about testing because, again, I'm a one person team. Ignoring main files, nah, I don't really care about all this. But let's do add this. This is nice because that actually lets me test that I'm actually using React Native correctly with TypeScript. And this is going to be called components hello to th less touch. I want to make directory uh, components. I want to say touch components. What are they calling this? Hello.tsx. So I can go here, components, go here, paste this in, save that. Looks like code to me. Does it look like code to you? I can comment that out. Let's go back to here. Let's actually uh, import uh, hello from components. What did I call that? Hello. 
then actually let's render hello. Cool. And actually I'm going to reload this because I feel like well actually just a TypeScript reload project. Just to make sure that it's finding that I'm using TypeScript now because I'm not seeing that things light up in the way that I want it to. So I've done all that. I don't really care to understand what that means. I don't really need to add tests right now. However, let's try to run it and see what happens. A little bit nervous about that. Won't lie. Let us try. NPM start. React Native is not installed. Praise run. Couldn't start that. Let's NPM install. Don't know why it's telling me that. And let's do npm start. It, it did start it. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. I refresh that. Couldn't resolve app from the modules app entry. So I can't find my app, which means that it probably has to be called app.js. So let's rename that to app.js. Let us refresh this again. It's building something now. I'm not really sure what. This is why it's always fun doing things that aren't proven to be working because then you run these fun little edge cases. Let's try something else. <laughs> I'm using exponents, so this is working again. So this is telling me that for exponents, I actually have to use this instead of the React Native CLI. That's why when you're trying to merge things together, things get kind of confused. So I can delete this, and instead, let me look at here, the final app.json. This is me kind of bridging two worlds together. Oh, doggy. So let's actually go back to app.json. And what is this? Package ops. I think this is the same thing that was being set before. Save that. Actually, do I have to restart it again? Is this making sense to you? Because I am really just flying by the seat of my pants. So that's working. Cool. But now, if I go back to app.js and I re import this and I save it, it's bundling it. So I got further than last time. Just waiting for it to build. I don't know why it's rebuilding so many things. The numbers are going down. That's always a good sign. And we got an error. We got undefined link from the expert component for the file. Check the runner of, of app. Whoa. That's a lot of. Whoa. 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 Calm down. Let's go back to hello, export class, hello. Well, it didn't export, I want to export default. Yeah, obviously. And this is the error that I was talking about. So let's actually add an enthusiasm level because it actually requires uh, a name prop. So I'll say name uh, world because ha ha ha. And then Enthusiasm level equals three. Hey, look at that! It worked! That's pretty cool. Uh, that's React Native running, uh, that's TypeScript running inside React Native. So let's actually make this a little bit more scalable. And what I'm going to do is we're going to have this app.js in the root, and we're actually going to have uh, app.tsx, which is what the other blog post recommends. I'm going to copy and paste this inside of here. Save that. This, I can actually save this back to there. And then here, what this can do is actually uh, blah, 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 import app. And I can just return app so that I can keep things in the TypeScript land and not have to worry about anything else. Let's save that. Good. Right. App root. 
do this. Cool. That's, uh, that's kind of the whole game. So actually, if I were to redo this, <laughs> oh God, I love it so much. So if I do this, look at this. So yeah, it's yelling at me on the left, but actually here, TypeScript is yelling at me too, and it's saying that the name is missing in type there. Oh my God, so lovely, and I can save that. And then this is just a dumb error that either should throw an error or it shouldn't. It shouldn't have to, you know, like make, let's make this require. Like you need to actually add this, let's save that. So now when I go here, we have an error again. That's why TypeScript's so cool because I changed the props and TypeScript itself is telling me that I actually need to add it itself. So I can go here, hit uh, control space, do autocomplete, do this here, I see that it's required. And I am at 99 right now. That's a lot of exclamation marks. So that was me fumbling through adding TypeScript React Native with Exponent. And that's kind of the harder thing about it, but it's working, which is really exciting. So let's actually commit this because it's working and now I have a good save state. So let's go here, I can review my changes, right? I made a new, I changed the app.js, so I don't really care about that. App.json, right, so I added this new transform, which I got from that blog post, sweet. Package.json, yes, I added these dev dependencies, that's great. Package lock was updated from package.json. Uh, TSconfig was created from the TypeScript initialization code, that's great. And these are the two dummy components that I have as well. So let's do uh, feature add TypeScript support exclamation marks up the wazoo. Not 99, because I don't need that many, but I have that there. And now I can actually go down here and do git git push. And I can go back to here and go to my repo, refresh. It's there, awesome. That was episode two of, I don't know how many, but that is me actually finally adding TypeScript support to React Native, meaning that I can now actually play and start thinking about the application itself and less just kind of like the code behind it, because it's very easy for me as a developer to just kind of get excited about the tech. I'm not really thinking about what I'm actually making. So now I actually have to take a step back and actually say, uh, put my product manager hat on and say, what am I actually going to build? I already talked about this in the first episode. I'm making a picture every day app, but I actually have to think about the UX and UI and what actually the screens I'll need to make for that. So I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board for that a little bit and think about what that means, but I'm glad that you were here with me to figure out this with me. Thank you for coming. If you're not already a subscriber, do subscribe to see more of me talking about all these things. Always fun to hear about these things as well. Uh, and I will see you again next time I upload to tell you about the new uh, adventures in making an app in September. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.